<coughs> Hello and welcome to another video on Assassin's Creed Rebellion where today I will be going through the abilities and showing off some gameplay of the new hero Maria Thorpe who was just obtainable in the new event. I currently have Altair in the training room now whacking away day and off to get him to level 31. I will probably rush it uh, because I want to get a video out uh, explaining his abilities and obviously showing off some gameplay with him as to me is the face of Assassin's Creed so um, it'd be nice to get a video of him up on the channel so as I said today we're going to go through uh, Maria Thorpe who was the secondary character that was available in the event so I've got her at a one star and I took her to level 20 and ranked her out with rank 2 gear um, obviously not going as big with her as I will with Altair if we just take a quick look at her uh, she's only an epic character as well, so she's not a legendary. And here we are, Maria Fulp. So let's just go through uh, some of the stats and everything. So as you can see, she's a support character, um, which does a little bit of damage uh, compared to some of the others. So DPS is quite strong on her and her support as well. They're the only two really benefits this character offers. Um, as the description says, skill combatant adapts to defeat in single foes. Uh, consistently boost the valor of your allies and effective in both support and offensive roles so as i said she's a support character uh, if you go to her skills right she has a passive skill uh, which will scale up this isn't how she's going to end up so the higher star you get the rank the higher this rank will go currently she will increase the attack of all party members by seven percent that will probably scale up. I don't know whether it will go 7 to 14 to 21. I don't know whether there's going to be a flat 7% raise on it. Could be more, could be less. It just depends how this is going to scale. It may go to a maximum of 20%, maximum of 25%. We don't know. So, um, as I said, these were all... I got as many um, fragments of her as I possibly could. So, can't really take her any higher than I have star-wise. Uh, star so, yeah. That's basically that's her passive role. So whenever she's in, don't have to activate it. Just her being in a mission does this towards her people. So right, <clears throat> her first attack, which is um, which will activate during combat, is a swift cut. So it carries out a rapid attack, applies instantly, instantly strikes for twenty percent damage. Um, I don't think that's really going to be that good, to be honest with you, because her base damage is quite low. But to do twenty percent damage isn't really going to do much so yeah we'll have to see on that right um our second skill is parry a couple of other um of the uh heroes have this ability where basically it will deflect the next strike so it reduces the damage you still take a bit of damage but you you, you reduce it so instead of taking the full brunt of the attack it will only strike for 35 percent and this will obviously scale up again when you rank her up and the second ability she's got is uh, Maria shouts encouragement to her allies, giving them a significant tactical advantage, increases allies' attack speed by 25% for 8 ticks. So this is quite good if you've got, say for example, a room that you're walking into with a, DP, uh, a DPS character and there's like two or three fights in there. If you activate this before you go in, you're going to be able to get more attacks off before they attack you. So it will just increase your speed of your attack. So... For example, if it's you hit them, they hit you, you hit them, they hit you, you'll probably get maybe two attacks in before they hit you. So it's always quite handy, always good for taking down you know multiple enemies without losing as much health. Um, if you look at her stats, her attack isn't the best, her defense isn't great either. Only a 5% dodge um, chance, so that's not too great. Her critical chance is very weak, but when she does crit, it's a nice 130% bonus. So she's got that going for her. The crits may not happen that often, but if you do crit, it's going to be a good crit. Um, a weapon damage is so, so, uh, yeah. I mean, the character for me is a little bit underwhelming at the minute, to be honest with you. Um, I thought with the two new characters coming in and with one of them being Altair, they're really pumped forward an absolute banging support champion. But... I think she gets outclassed by Machiavelli quite easily. I know he's a legendary, but I think he offers so much more. 
So, yeah, a little underwhelmed. I was hoping that there was going to be a bit more to her guarding as a support character. But let's pot her into some gameplay. Let's see how she gets on. Um, because she's only a level 20 with rank 2 gear on at the minute, we'll, um, we'll go into a bit of region 2. Yeah, that's a 580. That should be all right. So, right, let's edit our team. Right, let's see what she do. I wish there was a deselect button. Have to go to all the champion heroes, you could just click deselect. Right, so let's throw Maria full pin. Who else should we go in with? Uh, uh, DU, she can help out. Uh, let's go in with him, he's he's only a one star. To do this one star, correct? I need let's take Alonzo in, right? So we're not too overpowered for the content. Um, Going in, obviously, with silly champions, just mower it down so it wouldn't really be much of a test. So, right, these are roughly her level. So, let's see um, how she gets on. So, already that first champion is is a hard, hard encounter for her. So, let's just go in anyway. Let's just see how she gets on with it. See what a DPS is like. Right, uh, I'll get a quick strike in because then I'll get initiative. I'll Harry as well, so if he does attack me, it's going to deflect some of it back. I missed that. Right, reduce that coming in. Yeah, she doesn't hit that hard, to be honest with you. Alright, well, she got through that, but that isn't her main point. You know, she's not there to deal damage. Uh, it would have been a nice bonus if she could do a little bit more damage, but as I said, she's only a level 20, so bear that in mind. So, right, let's... Let's take, let's use this ability on him, and let's go in. So he's got 25% more attack, uh, attack speed. Right, uh, let's just go and eat him normally. Now yeah, this works out. So yeah, so like it, the attack speed. Yeah, as you see, I've, I've got the first hit in, and then I've got the next two hits in before he's even hit me back. So that that's quite a nice ability, actually. To be honest with you, increasing your um attack speed and again here i'm just chipping away at him there you go three attacks in before his speed had caught up for him to actually attack the next one so yeah not not too bad not too bad we might as well use the last one on him because uh, we'll take him in because she can't traverse she's not great at getting around the map so we might as well go stunned yeah, so that, that's a nice perk. I'll give her that, you know, um, hopefully with the um, ability to level her up star-wise, she is going to um, be able to uh, increase the attack speed. So at the minute it's 25%. If we were to get her, say, as a two-star, it may go up to, I don't know, maybe... 28 29 percent something like that so every time you star her up she then gives more attack speed which will be nice because for some content that will be quite handy so i can see her having her uses um as i, said, I do think she is a little underwhelming i'm not gonna lie for the minute i'm a little disappointed i was hoping that she would have been a little bit more epic a little bit more a bit different but i uh, will see Oh, as yeah, it goes on. Right, can I bang? Uh, he right. I think he's lost his attack speed now. Nope, he's still no. Nope, yeah, he's lost it. He's got quite a fast attack speed actually. Anyway, but um, um, uh, but yeah. See, as far as support goes, now now I've used them to. Buffs. All they've now got is a flat 7% attack rate, rate. and it, it's not ideal, it's not amazing. I mean, like, you know, I'm coming up to these content and it's, a, it's getting a little bit harder now. So, probably played the cards a bit too early, but that's on cooldown. I could have done with that to be, yeah. Oh, no, he's dead. Right, let's see if we can finish it off with her. 
See if she can get something done. Get a quick strike in. Parry. Right. Shove. Oh, he's come back to life. Right. Yeah, so that's the, the chapter over. As I said, a little bit underwhelming for my liking. As I said, she's not at the highest level, but that content really that I took her into, she should have, you know, I could take a similar champion in and steamroll that. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, she's not a bad champion uh, or hero. Uh, I f she's just not the best. I mean, if you look at the support thingies, classes here you look at Machiavelli he's just pure support and you look at the abilities he gives people but like just even passive just you know dodging gives 10% health so they dodge an attack they heal for 10% it, it, you know he's just she's good if you're starting off if you've managed to get her through the event and you've not got a big roster then yeah good she'll she'll really help you out but will not really help you out, but she'll she'll be a nice addition to the team. But when you've got quite a stacked roster, as I said, I mean, I, I do have every hero in the game. There's not one hero I don't have, and she will easily be outclassed by the rest of the support. So, yeah, that's my abilities and gameplay video on Maria. As I said, I have got one coming for um, Altair, and I am looking to do this for a few other heroes. So... Put in the comment section which heroes you'd like to see the abilities gone through just to help you understand it a bit more. More than happy to do it. I said I enjoy playing the game, enjoy unraveling the characters and what abilities that they each bring to the table. But yeah, so thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support on the Assassin's Creed videos. For a small channel like mine, one of my videos is pushing up to nearly 400 views. So thank you ever so much. But please, if you have got to the end of the video, Please like and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. It really helped the channel out. As I said, it's going well. But, you know, more subs equals more support for the channel. So, yeah, it would be greatly appreciated if you could smash that subscribe button. But thank you ever so much and enjoy the rest of your day.